Hey, how's it going? And today I'm just going to show you how to create a basic vehicle race, car race in Unreal Engine. And this is just super simple and very basic, but it could give you the idea to create a game. So let's go ahead and we'll hit play. And there goes the guy, my competition. And I have this setup where we could adjust the speed on that vehicle, but right now I'm just, he's not going super fast. He's probably going about, let's see, what is that one? 175 kilometers an hour and then you can drive around him a little bit here it's kind of fun you know I can see the potential in this oh snap okay well anyway I'll uh, <laughs> I'll be back and uh, show you how to do this so to get started on this all we need to do is hit simulation We'll go to leave it the default name and go create. Just takes a second. We do need to enable the Chaos Vehicle plugin for this to work and we need to get that asset. So in the content browser, we just click add, add feature content pack vehicle add and it should prompt you to enable the vehicle plugin. And if not, you just have to go up to edit and do it and add it as a plugin and then it'll require a restart. So we'll restart it. And this is just a basic game. It's very easy to set up, but it could give you an idea of how you could create your own game, like some kind of vehicle race game. Okay, so here we are in the level. And the first thing that we want to do is on world settings, go and set our game mode to vehicle game mode. And if we hit play, you'll see there comes our car and it's fully functional and we hit W and we can go. Okay. If you have any questions about what the controls are, what you can do is come down here to input and on the IMC default, if you double click into it and open these mappings, you have to drill down like for let's say the toggle the camera, you click that and it'll tell you tab, tab toggles a camera. So if you have any questions about what the assignment of controls are, it's all right in the game already. Okay, so then we're good to go there. Now what I'd like to do is this place actor tab should be available if you don't see it come into Windows. And we're just gonna drag a player start onto the scene. And one thing I like about this template is it has this compass marker. So I know we can set this to go north. So with the player start selected, I hit the space bar and I can turn this to negative 90 so the car is facing north. Then I come into the blueprint on the sports car and just grab the pawn and then I can drag it into the scene as well just like that and then if now there's this window and this was really annoying the heck out of me what you have to do is come up here into we can't get rid of it completely but we, we can minimize it so we can come up here to editor preferences and search for camera preview And it doesn't make any difference if we check that box, but we can drop this down to a value of one. And then it's it's not irritating anymore. So now if I hit if I select on the sports car and I hit the space bar, I can turn it so that it's oriented north as well. And then if I hit play, I can see we're pretty well lined up there. Yeah. So we're ready to race. Now the only thing we need to do now is just make it so that this car takes off on its own. And that's pretty easy to do. So with the car selected, we're going to go into the level blueprint up here. Open level blueprint. We can dock this up here. And off of event begin play. Well, the first thing I should say, make sure that the car is selected. And then in the level blueprint, if you right click, there should be a reference to it. And then once you got that reference, pull off and go set throttle. And this is what we want right here. Now we're gonna come back in just a minute to do some more stuff. So just leave this for setup like that. We can compile and save. Come back in and click into the sports car pawn right here. And we're gonna create a variable and we're gonna call this speed control. And we're going to set it to a float and make it instance editable. Make sure you click that. And for default, we can set it to 0.8. And that's all we need to do. And just make sure you compile and save it. And then now we can come back in here and 
get that variable. So all we're going to do is drag off of here and go get actor of class and we're going to search for our sports car pond which is right here and then compile and save and then we should we can save and then we should be able to pull off here and go get speed control here and then just pop that into throttle and put this exec pin in and that's all we need to do it's very simple save come in here and you'll see if we have the sports car pond selected on the details panel there's the value we can adjust if we want to play around with different speeds so now all I have to do is hit play and it takes off it gets a little bit of a head start but we're going let's see how fast it's going at 0.75 it looks like ooh where is it? I lost it. Heck. Oh, it's right behind me. It's easy to lose your perspective here. Where'd it go? Heck. I have no idea where it went now. <laughs> but it's around somewhere. It took off. It's long gone, actually. So let's do that again. That was kind of trippy. So we'll hit play. Okay, here I go. I'll let I'll let that car get ahead of me. So I can be come up from behind, just like on the on the freeway, regular freeway. <laughs> so I'm gaining on it, so that gives me a chance to. It's pretty cool. I'm just letting off the gas here and seeing if it'll come around the side of me. Oh. What happened? Where'd it go? There it is. Wait, wait, whoa. I might have set it in a different direction. Wow, it's heading. I'm turning as fast as I can. But it's it's kind of moving at the point eight. I don't see it anywhere. Oh, there. I think I see it. Uh, maybe it was optical illusion. Yeah, so maybe there needs to be some feature where you can find it. Because I have no idea where it went. That's one thing I like about this template, it's it's actually pretty big. I'm gonna do it one more time. <laughs> okay, here we go. So you can imagine if this is at point eight and I lose sight of it, it you bumped up the speed, it's gonna be really hard to catch. So at this speed I can kinda keep up with it as long as I don't get too crazy. I can lose sight of it pretty fast. So this is pretty cool. Oh, see, so when you bounce. Yeah, things, weird things can start happening. So I'm trying to gain on it right now. I think it's increasing in speed, actually, at point eight. Here we are. Pull over. <laughs> so anyway, you kind of get the idea. It's a lot of fun. It can be a lot of fun. So let me do one last thing. If we come here and let's set, set this to point two and see what it does. Not point two, I mean two. Let's hit play and see. I'm curious. Oh, I don't know that I can catch it. Oh, I got off to a way slow start there. I don't think I'll be able to catch it. Not at not at point not at two. It's it's hauling. So I don't know that I'll ever catch it at that speed. I don't I don't know. I'm gonna I'm trying I'm gonna try. But I don't, I don't think so. So anyway, you can see about playing around with those values. So I hope you enjoyed this. It can be a lot of fun, this particular game. So take care, have a great time, and I'll talk to you next time.